Hello, and welcome to The John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Airplane Repo TV Show Review. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. We want you to like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new episode. I'd also like to tell you about HollywoodIsCalling.com. It's a great service that allows you to purchase your live phone calls from your favorite celebrities for just $19.95. There are more than 100 celebrities to choose from, so give it a try. HollywoodIsCalling.com. Now, let's get started. There's a TV show on the Discovery Channel called Airplane Repo that is both entertaining and informative. Today, we're going to tell you all about it. Airplane Repo follows several real-life repo agents named Nick Popovich, Ken Cage, Mike Kennedy, Kevin Lacey, and Danny Thomas. The show follows these men as they spend their time tracking down the aircraft the banks have hired them to repossess, uh, but it doesn't end there. It's not enough to just find the planes or some of the other high-value assets these uh, they repo like yachts and power boats and helicopters. Once they locate these assets, they then have to figure out a way to take possession of it without the owner catching them or causing a physical altercation during the repossession. What's entertaining about the show is watching the repo agents planning out and executing uh, the logistical steps necessary to conduct the repo. That means getting through airport security or getting onto the property of the plane owner without the whole thing deteriorating into a fist fight or a shooting match. Another thing that's interesting about the show is how often the planes have been neglected and need major service work, major maintenance work, before the repo agents can even get them off the ground and repossess them for the banks. If that wasn't bad enough, then there are other challenges as well. For example, Many of the owners of these soon-to-be repossessed planes know the banks are coming for the plane, so they will often fly them to different states or even different countries in an effort to prevent the banks or the repo agents from finding them. Whether you have a plane that's worth $200,000 or $40 million, it's amazing how much effort the owners will put into hiding and relocating these planes. Now, another thing that's really interesting, if you're just a casual aviation buff, is the view, the insider's view you get into the aviation world on this show that you would never see ordinarily unless you were a pilot or an actual plane owner. I'll give you an example of something that many people don't know or realize about planes until they watch this show. Did you know that as much as half of a plane's value comes from the repair logs for that plane, which track, chronicle, and record all the repairs that have been done on that particular plane, where they were done, how they were done, who the mechanic was that performed them. All of that information is highly valuable. The reason these books are so important is that without them, you can't prove that all the scheduled maintenance has been done on a plane when it was supposed to be done. And if you can't prove that, then you have to assume that it's not been done in the absence of proof to the contrary. And if you can't prove it, then the value of the plane can be reduced by as much as 50% when it's resold. That's a really big deal for both the repo agents and the banks because it means they will get paid much less when the plane is resold. Because of this, owners will often hide a plane's maintenance logs just out of spite to keep it out of the hands of the banks or the repo agents. What's fun to watch is the great lengths the banks and the repo agents will go to locate, find, and recover those logs. Another thing that is really interesting about the show is the sheer volume and different types of planes being repoed. The agents will repo small planes, helicopters, private planes, and even full-sized airliners. That was sort of surprising to see because you don't really picture major aviation companies trying to hide their airliners from repo agents and banks, 
But apparently some of these companies will do just that, as you'll see on the show. The average layperson usually just assumes that anyone who has a plane must be rich and free of problems like repossessions. But it turns out that's just not true. In fact, a lot of these plane owners get hit by bad economic times and they end up losing their planes, their yachts, and other assets. Sometimes the owners will deliberately move their planes to a foreign country, or they will keep moving them from one country to another just to keep them from being repossessed. When you watch the show, it's interesting to see the sheer volume of bureaucratic and legal paperwork that needs to be done to recover a plane from a foreign country. Repoing planes comes with other risks as well. Sometimes the agent will track down a plane and realize that it needs so much repair work that it can't fly, so a decision is made to just dismantle it and sell the parts uh, off on the open market. At that point, you have to assume that the agents and the banks are making much less money than they would if the plane was airworthy. So if you're looking for a TV show that is fun, entertaining, informative, and family friendly, then check out Airplane Repo on the Discovery Channel. With that, I want to thank you for watching. And I want to tell you that we're going to have more great celebrity interviews and more breaking news stories coming up in the future. So we encourage you to subscribe to our free channel and click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time we post a new story. Thank you for watching.